From the biggest boneheaded and three-horned herbivores to the titanic carnivores of the Cretaceous period, today we look at the biggest dinosaurs that ever lived. Number 9. Utah Raptor The smallest of the theropods to make this list, the Utah Raptor, has a special place on this list as the largest of its feathered, running, raptor-esque family known as Dromaeosauridae. While Hollywood depictions give the impression that raptors are slender and lithe, the Utah raptor is more akin to the bulk of a polar bear. Thanks to an enormous tail the size of the rest of its body, it's estimated to have reached 19 feet in length. Its large, imposing build puts weight predictions for the North American beast at possibly 1,100 pounds or heavier, according to scientists. Number 8. Pachycephalosaurus the largest and sole representative of the thick-headed lizards on this list, Pachycephalosaurus, is most well-known for its bony skull, which can reach a density of up to 9 inches. Its head was so thick, in fact, that its skull could survive as a fossil, while the rest of its bones deteriorated. Beyond its calcium-crowned cranium, which also came adorned with spiky protrusions, this dinosaur is believed to have been normally quite peaceful as a suspected herbivore. Though studies have also shown evidence of intense breeding rituals resulting in scarring, which indicates the Pachycephalosaurus would clang domes with its kin over dominance. Its large size with its Wyomingensis species being larger than average at one half to one ton and 14.8 feet, made for especially brutal collisions. Number 7. Triceratops Estimated to have reached lengths of around 26 feet and weighing around 10 tons on average, the three-horned powerhouse known as the Triceratops was no pushover. Herbivorous and most likely a grazer, the Triceratops was most likely a bull or rhino-like beast using its horns to gore for defense rather than for food. It's believed that this dinosaur was most likely preyed upon by large theropods like Tyrannosaurus rex. With three-foot-long horns, though, the Triceratops was sure to put up a fight. Unlike some of the entries on this list, Triceratops wasn't as varied as it was prolific and so far has only a couple of confirmed species deviations. One dinosaur believed to be closely related to the Triceratops is the Eotriceratops, whose fossil samples were first found in 1910 before being disregarded for almost a century in favor of Albertosaurus, remains on the same aisle. In 2001, the remains were rediscovered by chance, thanks to a paleontology team's chef who happened to stumble across it. It was publicly unveiled and described in 2007, with scientists believing it could have reached a length of almost 30 feet and possibly around 11 tons on average, making Eero Triceratops the likely largest of the Keratopsians. Number 6. Tyrannosaurus Perhaps the most iconic of the dinosaurs, Tyrannosaurus rex was actually not the tallest bully on the block, but what he lacked in length, the king of lizards made up for in muscle. Coming in at about 40 feet long on average, the Tyrannosaurus weighed a whopping 15 tons, but has been predicted to weigh up to 20 tons or more in some circumstances. That's the weight of 11 cars, but these weights vary widely in their estimation, with many scientists thinking T-Rex could have often maxed out at 9 tons. Given the size of its arms, though, this dinosaur wasn't looking to rely on its weight for an advantage anyway. It wasn't exactly built for sumo wrestling. What truly made the Tyrannosaurus a force to be reckoned with was its massive jaw. Its skull has been found to grow up to 15 feet in length, and within resides a row of sharp, banana-like teeth up to 12 inches in length. With its strong, complex jaw, T-Rex could open its maw up to 80 degrees wide before exerting between 7,000 and 52,000 pounds of force. Scientists believe the T-Rex to have had the most powerful bite of any land animal to ever live. Number 5. Giganotosaurus and Carcharodontosaurus are only tie of the list. These two carnivorous juggernauts are just about even in terms of size, weight, and ferocity. Both Carcharodontosaurus and Giganotosaurus have a similarly estimated weight of between 6 and 15 tons and an average estimated length of about 39 to 44 feet. But size is where the similarities start to dwindle for these two theropods. While both species existed during the early Cretaceous period, Carcharodontosaurus, named for the Carcharodon genus of sharks, was native to North Africa. Meanwhile, Giganotosaurus, or the giant southern lizard as it translates, came out of South America. Their skull structures also differ greatly. Giganotosaurus had a rugged, wrinkled nasal bone and was thought to have been accompanied by a drooping, iguana-like face. Meanwhile, its supposed doppelganger, Carcharodontosaurus, has a slick shark-like jawline and 8-inch long serrated teeth. Unfortunately, there is still little known about these two species, thanks to relatively recent discovery, in the case of the Giganotosaurus, and the best fossil records of Carcharodontosaurus, 
Carcharodontosaurus falling victim to collateral damage during a world war. While neither seems to have risen to the spot of top dino among their theropods kin, they've become birds of a feather, always in contention with their sharp-toothed peers over which of the great carnivorous beasts is the best. Number 4. Spinosaurus Making its silver screen debut in 2001 in the film Jurassic Park 3, the sail-backed carnivore Spinosaurus became known worldwide as an apex predator of the Cretaceous period. But what was this dinosaur really like, you might wonder? Well, Universal Pictures got some things right, such as its potential size and proportion. A wide variety of size predictions have occurred over the years since its initial discovery, although they all seem to hover near 49 feet in length. Originally thought to be very thin, the weight of the dinosaur appears to be a topic of contention, as early estimates placed it as low as barely over 6 tons. In recent years though, researchers have calculated the creature to have been between 13 and 23 tons. But what the movies got right, in size, they blundered in function. While it may have actually weighed as much as 3 to 5 hippos, give or take, and stood taller than two giraffes, the bite strength and hunting pattern of Spinosaurus was not as vicious as the movie depicted. With its elongated, crocodilian snout and jaw, the potential strength of its bite is significantly less than that of a Tyrannosaurus rex. In addition, scientists are torn on whether or not this massive theropod even ate on land. Some have hypothesized that Spinosaurus could be a fishing predator, or even semi-aquatic in nature. For the most part, though, many believe it spent its time between both foraging and consuming, more like a prehistoric grizzly bear than the quintessential beast of prey as which it's portrayed. Number 3. Shantungosaurus Named for the Chinese peninsula in which it was discovered, the Shane Dog Lizard, or Shantungosaurus, is among the largest of the Ornithopeda suborder, and the only member to make this list. A duck-billed dinosaur like its hadrosaurid brethren, this creature had a toothless beak, preceding a jaw of around 1,500 small grinding teeth meant for chewing. The Shantungosaurus was an herbivore, most likely using that grain mill of a mouth to break down thick foliage. This dinosaur also had an interesting flat head and large nasal opening, leading scientists to believe it may have had some sort of loose flap or skin or fleshly bag-like appendage over its nose that it could inflate and distort to make threatening sounds or attract a mate. But none of these cool details contributed to the Shantungosaurus making this list. No, what gives this mallard-faced monster a spot at number 3 is the fact that it weighed an average of up to 18 tons and measured in at an average of around 52 feet. That means this goofy-looking, leaf-munching, nose-bag-blowing dinosaur was the length of a semi-truck and two and a half times the weight of an elephant. Number 2. Alamosaurus Standing head and shoulders, well, head and neck above the other dinosaurs, are Titanosaurs, a group of sauropods whose size dwarfs nearly all other prehistoric creatures. Among these behemoths was the Alamosaurus, hailing from the American Southwest. At a massive weight ranging from 43.5 to 88.2 tons, this long-necked sauropod shook the earth from Texas to Utah as it hit the top of the food chain on arrival. It also covered a good amount of ground, as it measures in at 90 to 128 feet long. This colossal lizard has had many of its fossils discovered since it was first uncovered and identified in 1921. Young individuals of this species have been found in more recent layers of sediment, and scientists are convinced the Alamosaurus was one of the last living, non-avian species of dinosaur. Still an estimated 66 to 69 million years old, the Alamosaurus is believed to be from the end of the Mesozoic era during the Cretaceous and Paleogene periods. A large number of these fossils have been recovered in Texas, but this creature doesn't get its namesake from the famed military fort. It was instead based on the land in which the first fossils of the dinosaur were discovered, at the New Mexico Ojo Alamo Sandstone Formation. Nonetheless, Texas proved to be a homeland for the Alamosaurus, with some studies concluding large herds of the sauropod would roam the lands with an estimated population of 250 to 350,000. Can you imagine seeing a quarter of a million stampeding reptiles trampling their way across the southwest U.S., each one the size of a 10-story building? Now that would be epic. Number 1. Argentinosaurus Of the giants on this list, one titan must stand larger than the rest. And that honor goes to Argentinosaurus. Named for its country of discovery, this monstrous long-necked lizard first had its fossils identified in 1987. The remains were discovered by a rancher who thought the thigh bone of the monstrous titanosaur to be a large piece of petrified wood. Not far from that upper leg piece were a number of humongous vertebrae, the size of a full-grown man. But aside from a few ribs and a femur, 
That is all that has been recovered of an Argentina source, making its reported height of up to 130 feet long and weight of around 100 tons simply the results of estimates and calculations. In reality, many contenders have challenged for the top spot of biggest dinosaur, and only time will tell until the next great lizard fossils are found. Some newer species of relation to the Argentinosaurus, such as Dreadnoughtus and Patagonitan, have been uncovered in the last 15 years and already look to be potential challengers to the throne.